Welcome to Win the Day from Back to the Bible. I'm your coach, Pastor Nat, and today we're going to talk about the power in compassion. When evaluating if an investment is worth the risk, we look at a potential return on investment. Some people simply refer to this as an ROI. We hope or look for a certain reward for our venture. The Bible will sometimes talk about an ROI as reaping and sowing. What you plant is what you should produce. For the Christian, we have the privilege of investing or sowing in the lives of others. But who are the others? What should this investment or sowing look like? This is what Paul writes in Galatians chapter 6, beginning in verse 9. Let us not grow tired of doing good, for we will reap at the proper time if we don't give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us work for the good of all, especially for those who belong to the household of faith. Paul says, let us not get tired of doing good. Oh, we might say, don't give up being kind to another. Keep on showing grace, mercy, and compassion. You see, we are like a garden hose called to water the ground and nourish the seeds and plants. When we do, there will be a harvest. But when? How much? (laughs) Only God knows. One of the greatest frustrations in Christian ministry and a principal cause for growing tired of doing good is the inability to calculate the spiritual outcome of faithful labor in the work of the Lord. Maybe you've heard of William Carey. William Carey arrived in India in 1793 with a burden to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to those who had never heard his name. He did this for seven years. For seven years, he proclaimed the gospel message faithfully week after week, month after month, with not a single native of India converted to Christ. That was until December 28, 1800. Seven years later, Carey baptized an Indian carpenter in the river Ganges. From this one convert, came a kingdom of believers. We don't know what the reward will be or when it will become realized. We don't even know if we will see the fruit. But we do know God will reward us if we don't give up. But He does tell us that this reward will happen if we don't give up. He said, do good to all especially those of the household of faith. You see, this is not a call to form a clique or to show favoritism. What Paul is saying is that we are called to show kindness to our spiritual family first and foremost, and then show kindness and compassion to everyone who comes our way. So here's my challenge for you today. Don't quit. We all face moments of exhaustion in ministry and in our faith. It's hard to be compassionate continually to the body of Christ. It's downright overwhelming to show compassion and grace to our enemies. We want to give up. But God says, don't quit. Keep going. I've got the water to your hose. I am the gas to your tank. I am the electricity in your battery. Does this mean we aren't allowed to rest or to take a break? (laughs) Not at all. Even God rested on the seventh day. But we must not quit. You can do it. You can keep doing it with the Spirit inside you. When we continue to do good to all, that is when we will win the day.